Good morning. Hi, everyone. Or good afternoon to some of my East Coasters. How's everyone doing? I feel like I haven't been on a live in a while. Hello, hello. I'm just making my shake. Um, so, uh, the podcast episode this Wednesday is gonna end up being Bree and Brian. So Bree and I, we are supposed to go record right now um, our episode for this week. And I have to go to the doctor. Um, so I don't know if I talked about this, but two years ago, it was actually before I was gonna be in the Royal Rumble, I had to go see a surgeon because I have a really bad shoulder. It's an old wrestling um, injury. And so um, it's, oh my gosh, it's like a whole long story. But anyways, um, I just always would get cortisone shots for it because at the time I was champion and um, just, you know, how to keep wrestling. So just always took cortisone shots. Well, 10 years later, actually eight years, but I wanted to be in the rumble and hold Mateo. So I was like, I have a six month old, I'm going in the rumble. Like I need to put off surgery. Oh my gosh, you guys, the past few days, I've been in so much pain. I can't even tell you. So finally today I am going to Berkeley and, um, we have to talk surgery and all this stuff, but so I have not been in this much pain and I can't even tell you how long. I'm also gonna try and beg for another shot, which I know it's not the best, but as long as I have surgery booked right, it's fine. Um, so some of you are asking about my skin. So a few days ago I did, so a few weeks ago I did a, oh, what's it called? Um, a cool peel. And then a few days ago, I did um, micro needling. So what my goal is is once a month, I do. I'm gonna do micro needling till I don't need to. Like I could do it like every few months, but it's so good for anti aging. It really helps with the fine lines. And then I had some acne scars like here, so you could see where they went really deep. It's like kind of uh, dry and scabby a little. But um, a few more days, like it'll be done peeling and all that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so look into that stuff. Cause it's like, I do Botox, but I, I don't want to do anything else. Like I just did Botox. I think it was like, I don't know, a few weeks ago or something. It was, that was my fourth time ever doing it. Um, it's been like once a year, I guess I've done it in the past four years, but yeah, I'm just trying to do what I can for anti-aging. Um, but yeah. You're not replying, just talking. Oh, someone's about to walk in. Artem, come say hi. I'm on an IG live. Come here. What a coincidence. Perfect timing. I was hoping to get you coming. My son's good. Um, Mateo, someone asked how. Um, so, uh, Mateo's doing really well. He's definitely has entered officially the terrible two stage, huh? He likes to challenge mommy and daddy a lot, but he's talking so much and he's just, he's such a smart boy. Um, my age is 39. <laughs> he's 40. How old are you? <laughs> um, yeah, 39 and proud. Way to put him in the spot. Um, hey Jay, what's up? The they love your hat. I know. Like, uh -huh. um, so yeah, I'll ask. Did I get lip fillers? No. Does it look like it? I think because my lips are dry. You know when your lips are burned on top? <laughs> lip fillers when I was gone? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't get lip fillers, even though sometimes I'm like, oh, a little more lip would look good, but Artem would be like, no, which I don't blame him. Um, please, more kids, right? More kids. Maybe in a year or two, we'll see. Right, Artem? What? Maybe yes. in a year or two? Sure. <laughs> sure. You know what's hard is Artem and our job is just like so demanding. Like when he goes in season for Dancing with the Stars, he's doing that three months straight when I go and do my stuff on set. So I just could not imagine right now bringing a second child into that kind of life. Mateo loves it. He does amazing. But um, yeah. So. By the way, um, 
Anyone have sunflower butter? I need a manicure, by the way. I was supposed to do that yesterday. He's going to say something about my pedicure. I'm not. He wants to say something about my pedicure. Okay, I need to get a pedicure no, I as well. If you're going to mention that. But I'm going to leave it up to you. Artem was looking at my feet one day and he was like, It's your toes, it's not my Couldn't toes. believe what he saw because my nails were so long. And I was like, Hey, oh my. I just have not had a chance to do any of that stuff. Um, Starting, you have nothing. I mean, and they're going to be here to clean soon. Like breakfast. We, do have, we have eggs in there. That's it. Artem starving and he wants oh there's chickens apple chicken sausage. How old are they? They're not they're no that one there's a new one. It that one's like pretty new, yeah. How how old? When you say pretty new, how old? He thinks it's old. old um reality new? show, stay tuned for that. Oh when you open yogurt the other day, yesterday. Yeah, that kinda looks old to me. Okay. I, would. I was very concerned. Actually, no, it was this morning. I okay, it. first of all, so I always get the probiotic yogurt. It said it was expiring May 4th, but I didn't realize that once you open them, you have a week to eat them. So when Artem opened yeah. it the other day, it was like, what did it say? It's like a, the most sour smell. And I'm like, and those yogurts are expensive. They're like six bucks a thing. And I'm like, you have a week to smash it? So now I know that when I get those yogurts that are like $6 a jar, make sure you eat it in a week. No, we didn't do Coachella this year. Artem's super busy. We were not invited. Yeah, and they're like, mm, I don't know. No, but also Artem's been, he's very busy every weekend coaching dance, so. And I like going to Coachella with him, but I think next year would be really fun. Right? Yeah, Pardon? yeah, it would be great. You thought I was vegan. I am not a vegan. I, I mean, I don't eat crazy amounts of meat, but um, I love, uh, I like meat. Um, how am I liking the long hair? I like it. Oh my, it's a lot of maintenance. My hair looks crazy right now, but I do love it. It's so pretty, right? It's just crazy to have long hair after having short hair. At times I miss my short, but I do love my long, especially when it's all done up. But this is like my bed head. Do you guys like it? What do you guys all think of the long hair? I haven't even come on since the long hair. We haven't talked about now officially calling our Bella Army Bonita Army. Um, oh, Teo, he's at school right now. Um, look at this. You guys like it? Yeah. Thank you. And it's just nice. What I realized is I just gotta keep up on dyeing my hair black because my hair can get super like brown. Right around like the sun. What is it? Sorry, I'm cooking. So I'm goes short better. You made me cut my, no, but the short is hot. I'm filming Barmageddon. I leave in two weeks and I just felt like this time around it would be fun to have the long hair. The good thing is, is I could always go back to the bob. I know my mom was like super upset, but, um, but like I could, I told her, like I could always bring the bob back. That's always so easy. And when I put this hair in, I made it where it was like, they weren't chopping up my bob. So it's all still there. So, so I said, we need a twin show for twins. Well, guess what? You're in luck because this summer on Amazon, you're going to have a lot of twins for Brie and I show twin love. Um, I was, I came on here, Arden, because I started to tell them about, um, my shoulder. Oh, yeah. I can't believe that I'm going to have to get surgery on it. Um, anyone have these? They're so good. Celsius. But drink, if you're going to have one, make sure you drink it early enough, because Artem and I both had one in the afternoon. We thought we were fine before 2 o'clock. And then we both were in bed, even like at 11 p.m. looking at each other like, oh my gosh, we're so wide awake. And we go to bed early, so it like ruined a night of sleep for us. So just make sure you have it early. Right, Artem? Right. I have it on you. I'm gonna put ice in the sheet. How's your workout? Yeah. 
Oh, so did anyone fall for it? Not fall for it, because I think it's great, but did has anyone seen the activated you Instagram ads? Okay. I like feel like I'm buying so much on Instagram at times. Like a lot of people a lot of the it's like the workout or anti-aging ads, get me? Um <laughs> Uh, the point sometimes I come in, come in and I'll see like a little thing, just a pile of things that just arrived to the oh, house. Oh, well. And I'm looking at them like, I, I can't believe you just got that. I mean, like. But it's all like biohacking or anti aging, which I think I, he's gonna be grateful for when I age naturally beautiful. I think that's just a, everyone's job to age <laughs> naturally beautiful yeah. naturally. Yeah. Not no, but we sometimes need help. So I got this and the pills, so I'll let you know if it works. So I feel works. like exactly. I feel like it does. I don't know. Someone said they have it. Okay, Mo Wine. Did you do you see a difference? Huh? I don't know. You have to tell me. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna let you guys go. Say prayers for me, for my next, um, for my x-ray and all that stuff. And then enjoy um, <laughs> someone. You age naturally beautiful without those things, babe. It's so true. Um, you really do in life. It's all mental, right? Um, and sleep. Oh, my gosh. Dynasty and Napa house tour. So MTV Cribs wants to do a thing on our house. What do you all think? Should we do MTV Cribs? I was actually talking to Artem about it this morning because um, they had called and I was like, well, maybe. Or at first I though was like, is our house big enough for MTV Cribs? But I guess they have all different kinds of houses, which is great, that's good. Cause we do not have a big house and we love it. Um, but yeah, so maybe we'll do that so it could get like, um, you know, yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm distracted, so, uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna go because I need to make my shake and then I need to get, I need to get my workout in before I have to head to the doctor um, and then get some cute time with this one. The best husband in the world. Aww. I really want him to do another dance with me. I was thinking that um, the fight song dance, our contemporary, we should He's redo it. Huh, for our YouTube? That's what and, she pulled me. And then I want That's Artem fine. to exactly even dye it like blonde. Oh Your no. Your hair I'm blonde. Not Didn't not you guys blonde. love when Artem's hair is blonde? You say no. I love when his hair is blonde. You say no. Whatever. But no, I told him that we definitely are gonna do another dance together. You know what it is, is just, I love dancing with Artem because he just like takes like manly control of me and it's so hot. He's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Um, love you guys and then I'll keep you updated and then enjoy um, the podcast wednesday with brie and brian i'm sure brian's gonna be beyond hilarious and then also if you are um, near san francisco um there's so many towns that aren't far or if you're in san francisco come see us on our live show wednesday night um so we're gonna have a really fun guest Ooh, artem's gonna show up so um we're super excited that artem gets to be a part of the show so it's gonna be a lot of fun so be brie artem and i Cobb's Comedy Club, Wednesday, this Wednesday at 7 or 7.30, I think. So there's still general admission tickets left. So come um, join us, have fun. It'll be great. I think I'm gonna have Artem do like a 30 second dance with me. That is not the selling point. No, it is. Yeah, I want you to do like a 30 second dance with me. You know, we can like, you know, make it like TikTok or something. <laughs> he laughs because I always say TikTok, which we suck. I suck at TikTok. Okay. I just suck at doing social media. It's, you know, it's it's tough. That's It's a tough gig to keep up with. I'm not good at that. All right. Love you guys. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. And have a great week as well. Um, I'm sure I'm going to come back on here and bug you guys in case I don't.
catch you. Um, enjoy your week. Stay safe. Be healthy. Mwah, lots of